Hello people of the web and YouTube, this is Carol. welcome back to Hack Time, whoa! So okay guys, today's video is gonna be a little bit different compared to the usual things I do on this channel. Today I'm gonna actually be soldering together some electrical components, and with that said, before I get started with this, just a disclaimer. If you never soldered before, I really recommend practicing a little bit first by like hooking some wires together before you get to this. Cause today we're gonna be soldering wires well right to a PCB board and then Hopefully it should work out fine. Now with that said, today's project is going to actually require a couple of items. Now, first of all, I really recommend getting some heat shrink, especially larger sheets of heat shrink, because if you're able to wrap up the whole unit when you're done with it, it will be a lot safer and a lot more portable. But since I don't have that, I'm going to be just using the secret man's handy helper, whatever, duct tape or electrical tape, you know what I mean? But yeah, first of all, the supplies you're going to need for this project include heat shrink, electrical tape, a USB car adapter. You can get these either really cheap or splurge here and get one that's a little bit more pricey. Just know they're relatively all the same, and if you get a cheaper one, yours might just come with the fuse inside of it. Which you can save and reinstall later right into the wire if you want, just for some extra safety precautions. But you necessarily don't really even need that, and I'll get more onto that once I get to that step in the video. And from here on out, all you're gonna need is a soldering iron and uh, perhaps some time and patience, because you may actually mess this thing up if you're not careful. And speaking of messing up, you might also want to invest in a decent multimeter. Mine is relatively crap, but it should work fine in measuring the resistance of this later, which will come in handy in case we do mess up, it will let us know that there's something touching where it shouldn't. Now with that said, let's continue on, let's break open our USB card cigarette lighter adapter and take a look at its guts. Now if you look closely, you should see a center point and an outside point, which I'll probably do a little animation on the screen here to show you what I mean. The center point is the positive and the outside of the cigarette lighter is the negative. Now from here on out, you can either click off we clip off both the negative terminals and just solder right onto the PCB board. But to make things a little bit more simpler, I'm gonna actually be cutting off one of the clips and soldering right to there. Even though that will make this thing a little bit more bulky in the end, but it doesn't really matter because this thing is really small even if you leave that little bit of extra bulk on it. But yeah, uh, however, I will be actually soldering right to the positive point on the on the circuit and it, that should be about it like once you got those two points hooked up just hook it up to a car battery that isn't charging okay i mean i'm pretty sure this is, this is safe if you're charging your battery while you're using it but without that fuse there's no kind of protection so if there's an overload of any kind well you can expect your phone to get pretty much shot and destroyed okay that's only if you use a cigarette to USB adapter that's relatively cheap and doesn't have that fuse kind of built in and it's just kind of freely hanging. Now, what you can do to make this thing a little bit safer is you can actually reinstall that fuse to the circuit, just cut your wire somewhere and then solder it in and add some heat shrink around that. But yeah guys, like I said, that's pretty much it for today's project. Um. All you really need is just some time, patience, some wire, and a cigarette to USB lighter adapter. And before I finish today's video off, I know someone out there is going to say, why don't you just buy a cigarette lighter socket and plug the USB into that? That is actually a pretty good question because that is the simplest way to do it if you don't want to solder. But if you want something portable that you can carry around and you can say, hey, I made that and it works. Well, this project's for you, you know what I mean? And you can actually take this project a step further and buy a LiPo battery, that's 12 volt of course, and you can actually plug the cigarette lighter right to the LiPo battery and charge up your stuff on the go, which is really nice. But yeah guys, like I said, that's pretty much it for today's project, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and who knows, maybe in the next video I might actually make a taser. And I mean that for real, I'm probably going to make a taser, the modules are super cheap, and I've already turned a fly swatter technically into one, I'm just going to add a actual taser module to it, it's going to be fun, okay, you want to be around to see this, and with that said, like I said, I'm going to leave today's video off here, DTPK signing off, peace. 
I've already added a USB port, so I don't think I'm gonna add another USB port soon in the future, but I do. Uh, I don't know if I should try harder, but I tried my best. Let me try again. Okay, there we go.